Hi, my name is Katina Dunn. I've been a journalist for decades, editor, publisher, columnist. But I went to a little club in LA, the Hollywood studio Byron Grill, and I saw these amazing artists. And there's nobody in the audience. Next door is a disco with techno music, and there's a line down the block. And I thought, people have to know about these amazing artists. Flamenco was born in Spain, so you have a thousand of people who do flamenco, who go to sleep with flamenco, get up with flamenco, eat flamenco, drink flamenco. It's a passion. I mean, what's your book? Your book. Um, this film is about flamenco in Los Angeles. The movie is called Compañía, which in Gypsy means company. And the spirit of the movie is about how flamencos in Los Angeles have joined together to interpret flamenco, which is an art form from Spain. Work for flamenco in Los Angeles hasn't always been that plentiful. So whenever something comes up, it's always very exciting and everyone in the community goes out for whatever the job may be. Um, but this is a unique project because we get to explain what we're about. We get to explain how we began dancing, where we all come from as individuals. Some people are from America, some people are from other countries, but um, everyone has united together in Los Angeles to, to do their what they love to do the most. I study in, in Spain so much and in France and so much by myself, you know, like in my, in my room with my TV and the videos and all my life like this, you know. It's off the cuff. It's something that's instant. It's a natural movement, which is what flamenco is. It's, you know, flamenco is the gesture. And, and you get a gesture from a dancer or you get a gesture from the singer or the intonation of the song or wherever it goes. And then you follow it along. And then you do something different every single time, like you would in jazz. It's never played the same. One of the reasons why I got so inspired, you know, when I heard about this project uh, was because Katina was inspired so much by these dancers and what they sacrifice uh, in order to keep flamenco alive. You know, Katina essentially funded this project herself. And so, you know, she didn't have a big, huge crew when she went to film uh, everything. And these dancers would drive in from so far away to perform this art and to keep it alive and, and how much they dedicated their lives to it really inspired her um, to to want to let the world know that this exists in Los Angeles. After people see the documentary I, I wanted them to be in love with these artists and to pursue their own uh, exploration of the art of flamenco. I hope. <laughs>